Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lucid Main session by Neo IAS and today's topic is Zika virus. So our topics include why in news, what is the incident of Zika in India, Zika virus epidemiology, what is Zika virus disease, transmission of Zika virus, incubation and viremia, signs and symptoms, potential complication of Zika virus disease, treatment, diagnosis and what is India's preparedness in the context of Zika and way forward. So let us move on to our first slide that is why it came in news. The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has confirmed 22 positive laboratory cases of Zika virus in Rajasthan's capital Jaipur last month. The total number of such cases has been increased to 131 recently and similar cases are now reported in Madhya Pradesh also. The outbreak was detected through the Indian Council of Medical Research that ICMR surveillance system. So our next slide is what is the incidence of Zika in India? The first outbreak in India was reported in Ahmedabad, Gujarat in 2017. The second outbreak was reported in Krishnagiri in Tamil Nadu and the Jaipur outbreak it is the third episode of Sika eruption in India in less than two years and similar cases are now reported in Madhya Pradesh also. Hence the disease continues to be on surveillance radars of the Union Ministry even though it is no longer a public health emergency of international concern according to WHO. Next we can look upon Zika virus epidemiology. The very first known case of Zika fever was in a rhesus monkey and it is in the Zika forest in Uganda in 1947. The first human cases were reported in Nigeria in 1954 and a few outbreaks have been reported in tropical Africa and in some areas in Southeast Asia. The first major outbreak with 185 confirmed cases was reported in 2007 in Yap Islands of the Federated States of Micronesia. In 2013, another large outbreak was reported in French Polynesia. In May 2015, the Pan American Health Organization that is PAHO issued an alert regarding the first confirmed Zika virus infections in Brazil. Mosquito-borne Zika virus is suspected to be the cause of 2400 cases of microcephaly and 29 infant deaths in Brazil in 2015. In later slides, we will see the facts regarding microcephaly. The emergence of Zika virus in South America led to a rapid spread throughout South and Central America. It has appeared sporadically in travelers to the United States and Europe. Because of the growing evidence of link between Zika and microcephaly, the CDC issued a travel alert on January 15, 2016 advising pregnant women to consider postponing travel to the following countries and territories. The countries and territories include Brazil, Colombia, El Salvador, French Guinea, Guatemala, Mexico, etc. Next is a simple timeline which is depicting the history of Zika virus infection. Our next slide is regarding what is Zika virus disease. Zika virus infection is a mild febrile viral illness. It is transmitted by mosquitoes. The Zika virus is a member of Flavivirus genus in the family Flavivirte and the main culprit of the disease is Aedes aegypti that is a mosquito which is responsible for Zika virus. It is related to Dengue, Yellow Fever, West Nile and Japanese Encephalitis etc. The viruses that are also members of the virus family Flavivirte. Next regarding the transmission of Zika virus. The main transmission of Zika virus is through mosquito bites. That is Zika virus is transmitted to people 
primarily through the bite of an infected Aedes species mosquito, Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes typically lay eggs in standing water. They prefer to bite people and thus they become infected when they feed on a person already infected with the virus. Then the infected mosquitoes can then spread the virus to other people through bites. And the next route is maternal feeding. It includes periconceptional, intrauterine and perinatal time. And next mode of transmission is sexual transmission from an infected person to his or her partners. Next mode of transmission is laboratory exposure. And Zika may be spread through blood transfusion also. And Zika virus has been detected in breast milk. But it has to be noted that there are no reports of transmission of Zika virus infection through breast milk. Based on available evidence, the benefits of breastfeeding outweigh any possible risk. The next slide is regarding the incubation and viremia. The incubation period of Zika virus disease is 3 to 14 days. Zika viremia ranges from a few weeks to one week. Some infected pregnant women can have evidence of Zika virus in their blood longer than expected. Virus remains in semen and urine longer than in blood. So, this should be noted that the Zika virus it remains in semen and urine in a longer period than it is present in blood. Next is signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms include low grade fever that is between 37.8 degrees Celsius and 38.5 degrees Celsius. Arthralgia notably of small joints of hands and feet with possible swollen joints. Then myalgia, headache, congenitivitis, cutaneous maculopapular rash and post infection asthenia which seems to be frequent in this case. More rarely observed symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation and pruritus. The symptoms are similar to those of dengue or chikungunya and it is transmitted by the same type of mosquito. Next is regarding the Zika and the pregnancy outcomes. Zika virus infection during pregnancy is a cause of microcephaly and other severe birth defects. All infants born to mothers with laboratory evidence of Zika infection during pregnancy should receive a comprehensive physical exam. Congenital Zika syndrome is a distinct pattern of birth defects among fetuses and infants infected before birth. How is Zika related to microcephaly? According to WHO, there is a strong scientific consensus that Zika can cause the birth defect microcephaly. So microcephaly it is a condition that is defined by unusual small heads that can result in developmental problems. In addition, the agency said it could cause Guillain-Barre syndrome. And this Guillain-Barre syndrome it is a rare neurological disorder that can result in paralysis though conclusive proof may take months or years. Our next slide is regarding the potential complication of Zika virus disease that is Guillain-Barre syndrome and microcephaly. An increase in Guillain-Barre syndrome that is a rare neurological disorder that can result in paralysis which coincide with Zika infection in the general public as well as an increase in babies born with microcephaly in northeast Brazil. The PAHO said there is no evidence that Zika can cause death but some cases have been reported with more serious complications in patients with already existing medical condition. So our next slide is regarding the congenital Zika syndrome. The congenital Zika syndrome is associated with five types of birth defects and that are either not seen or occur rarely with other infections during pregnancy. And they are first one severe microcephaly that is a small head size 
resulting in a partially collapsed skull. The second one is decreased brain tissue with brain damage as indicated by a specific pattern of calcium deposits. The third one is damage the back of eye with a specific pattern of scarring and increased pigment. Fourth, limited range of joint motion such as club foot. And fifth one, too much muscle tone rested in body movement soon after birth. Next slide is a case definition of microcephaly. In that, two cases that is definite congenital microcephaly for live birth and definite congenital microcephaly for still birth and early termination are discussed. So, in first one, the heart circumference at birth is less than the third percentage for gestational age and sex. If head circumference at birth is not available, head circumference less than third percentile for age and sex within the first six weeks of life is taken. And in second case, the head circumference at delivery is less than third percentile for gestational age and sex. Measuring head circumference is usually done for microcephaly. So, this diagram represents three conditions that is a baby with a typical head size and baby with a microcephaly and baby with a severe microcephaly and how the head circumference is measured in three conditions. Our next slide is regarding the treatment of Zika virus. People sick with Zika virus should get plenty of rest, drink enough fluid and treat pain and fever with common medicines. If symptoms worsen, they should seek medical care and advice. There is currently no vaccine available. Companies and scientists are racing to develop a safe and effective vaccine for Zika. But the World Health Organization said it would take at least 8 months to start large-scale clinical trials of potential preventative shots. Our next slide is regarding the diagnosis. Zika virus diagnosis can only be confirmed by laboratory testing. For the presence of Zika virus RNA in the blood or other body fluid such as urine or saliva. Infection with Zika virus may be suspected based on symptoms and recent history that is a residence or travel to an area where Zika virus is known to be present. The recent study says that in a lab grown human cells, a Zika virus laden mosquito bite may infect and kill a type of brain cell that is vital for the development of brain. The researchers applied the Zika virus to the lab grown brain cells and found that the virus infected and spread through the plate of these cells within a span of 3 days. Also, it killed the cells or disrupted their growth. Next is regarding the prevention. So, mosquitoes and their breeding sites pose a significant risk factor for Zika virus infection. Prevention and control relies on reducing mosquitoes through source reduction, that is, removal and modification of breeding sites and reducing the contact between mosquitoes and people. And this can be done by using insect repellent regularly, wearing clothes, preferably light colored and that covers as much of the body as possible. Using physical barriers such as window screens, closed doors and windows. If needed, Additional personal protection such as sleeping under mosquito nets during the day can also be taken. It is extremely important to empty, clean or cover containers regularly that can store water. The WHO said sexual transmission is relatively common and has advised pregnant women not to travel to areas with ongoing outbreaks of Zika virus. Special attention and help should be given to those who may not be able to protect themselves adequately such as young children, sick or elderly people. During outbreaks, health authorities may advise that spraying of insecticides be carried out. 
insecticides recommended by WHO pesticide evaluation scheme may also be used as larvicides to treat relatively large water container. And, and also, travelers should take the basic precautions described to protect themselves from mosquito bite. These are the preventive steps. And our next slide is regarding the relationship between El Nino and Sika virus. The Aedes aegypti mosquito breeds in still water and severe drought, flooding, heavy rains and temperature rises are all known effects of El Nino, which is a result of a warming of central to eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. An increase in mosquitoes can be expected due to expanding and favorable breeding sites. Steps can be taken to prevent and reduce the health effects of El Nino. So, our next slide is regarding India's preparedness in the context of Sika. The declaration of the emergency by WHO has made India take notice of the threat. The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare issued guidelines on managing the Sika virus and appointed the National Center for Disease Control in Delhi as a nodal agency for investing the outbreak in the country. The ministry has also issued travel advisories and suggested that people avoid non-essential travel to affected countries. According to the guidelines, pregnant women or women who are planning pregnancy should defer traveling to the affected areas. It suggests that travelers diagnosed with fever within two weeks of return from an affected country should report to the nearest health facility. The guidelines also call for pregnant women who have travelled to Sika affected area to mention their travel during antenatal visits in order to be assessed and monitored appropriately. For enhancing surveillance, the Integrated Disease Surveillance Program that is IDSP through its community and hospital based data gathering mechanism would keep track of areas where a large number of cases of acute fever are reported. Then IDSP would also advise its states and district level units to look for clustering of cases of microcephaly among newborns and reporting galen barry syndrome. The maternal and child health division under National Health Mission would also advise its field units to look for clustering of cases of microcephaly among newborn. So next is a short way forward. It has managed to reinforce an important lesson that current human behaviors, widespread international travel and man-made projects have brought about imbalance of our planet, causing re-emergence of many hibernating infections unexpectedly and untimely in unimaginable proportion. With the advocacy of health messages about the importance of mosquito bite prevention, the public health recommendation in some of the most severely affected countries are to delay pregnancy and to avoid travel to areas with active Zika virus transmission. The public health response to take the outbreak of Zika virus disease have moved much forward. The recognition of Zika virus as a cause of microcephaly and other serious brain anomalies might lead to improved understanding of an adherence to public health recommendations. Therefore, a review of evidence-based medicine linking Zika virus infection and adverse pregnancy and birth outcomes is needed. For a country of size and population like India, emerging and re-emerging infections are a challenge. Networking and partnership between public health organization and capacity building of the state are critical in addressing the challenges of emerging and re-emerging infections like the Sika virus. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.